ladies and gentlemans. Every single month to keep Thor News up and running, I do a fundraiser. And for January, I've only got $1,461 left to raise. So if you'd like to contribute, I got a snail mail, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron you can donate to. All right, let's get to the news. Man, we are tracking a Russian rocket that is expected to crash into Earth. Hashtag out of control. I'm out of control. I'm out of control. I'm out of control. But I got everything under control. All right. Um, this is the late night Thor news. Take it with a grain of salt. We're tracking here, and apparently in five hours, a rocket could hit Earth. That's right, a 20-ton out-of-control Russian rocket due to crash on Earth Wednesday afternoon, and in its flight path, someone has said, dun-dun-dun, there's a bullseye over San Francisco. And they got a lot of problems going on right now. Last thing they need is to get hit in the face with a rocket. This is brought to my attention by Aham Actual, and it was proxy. Weather boy, and the reason I'm treating it officially is because Jonathan McDowell is one of the experts in the area of satellites, rockets, and space debris. He basically says uncontrolled re entry, dry mass, probably around four tons, including the payload. Some bits may reach Earth's surface, and this was on December 27th. When so. It's legit. This is the part of the, uh, where I'll read the article and try to make some jokes, but nobody really has a sense of humor in Dark Winter Part 2022. Well, it's a big, pretty big rocket, and I would guess a lot of the parts of it are made out of metals and stuff. This is the Russian Angara 5. It sounded angry on liftoff, and if you do anything angry, you got a better chance of making mistakes. It successfully launched from Russia on December 27th. However, its upper stage per sat rocket and attached payload failed to get into orbit, and it is now tumbling back to Earth. While it was a military launch, Russian space agency Roscosmos shared this photograph of the rocket ahead of December launch. All right, I remember it was not too long ago that Russia tested out one of their anti-satellite systems and blew up an old uh, piece of space debris and caused everyone to panic. And then China got mad at Elon Musk and SpaceX because they had to move their new space station out of the way twice. So, you know, the whole space race is definitely interesting between nations and corporations and whatever. And deep space marines. An updated forecast released today suggests an out-of-control Russian tumbling back towards Earth. I think they meant to put rocket. Or because it's just an out-of-control Russian tumbling back towards Earth. Wouldn't be that big of a deal unless it was Russian Superman or Superwoman. Anyway, a Russian Russian tumblers are pretty good though. Better than American tumblers. Earth can strike. That can be an alcoholic joke or a gymnastics joke. Can strike Earth on Wednesday. And if this hits Earth and people die, I'm gonna feel real bad about trying to make jokes. It, an updated forecast shared by Joseph Remis on Satflare.com and Twitter. It shows the rocket re-entry around 12.44 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesday, January 5th. Because the rocket is uncontrolled and could shift around erratically as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Impact could occur plus minus seven hours of that estimated strike time. Because Jupiter's and Pisces in time has gone liquid. Returning to Earth in an out-of-control manner is the Persei upper stage rocket, which carried a dummy payload into space as part of Russia's rocket test. So, you got a, a dummy tumbler. On December 26th, the Russian Angara A5 rocket lifted off from Plesik to Cosmodrome. Named after a river in Siberia, the Angara rocket is the first heavy lift launch vehicle used by the Russians in decades. The December 27th launch was the third test flight of the giant rocket. While the launch was flawless, an upper stage rocket failed to successfully fire. While the Angara first two stages fired as planned, the third stage, a Persai rocket, failed to fire a second time. While the first fire helped put the dummy payload it was carrying into low Earth orbit, the failure of the second fire failed to put the dummy payload into a geostationary orbit. Instead, the 2020 mass is tumbling out of control to Earth. While Roscosmos shared pictures and congratulations, 
message before the immediately after Angara launch. They've offered no comment on the Persai rocket and the failure for it to fire, deferring it instead to the Russian military, which was responsible for the launch. As of press time, the Russian military has offered no comment on this rocket. According to NORAD, short for North American Aerospace Defense Command, the tumbling rocket and payload has been numbered 50505 and was identified to be in an initial orbit with a pedigree of 1,800 kilometers and an apogee, apogee around 200 kilometers. Russian newspaper Moskosvsky Kosmoslolets wrote, the 20-ton blank or what remain what? The 20-ton blank or what remains of it will smoothly descend for another two or three weeks until most of it with the remaining fuel burns out in the dense layers of the atmosphere where the leftovers will fall is a question. Commercial and private entities such as Satflare and Tuyo.com and Aerospace Corporation are tracking the out-of-control rocket and are providing maps and statistics regarding it on respective websites. On Satflare.com, a forecast created by Joseph Remy suggested that Wednesday afternoon, East Coast time, impact will occur over Australia. Although the rocket comes in a little faster or a little slower due to its tremendous speed, it may end up striking Earth elsewhere along its potential orbit planes. Four such orbital lines extend across the United States of America at around the time the rocket could hit Earth. The first possible area extends from the San Francisco Bay Area to the northwestern corner of Nevada north and east across Oregon, west central Idaho, and western Montana. I'm glad he spelled that out for me. Sometimes I'm really bad at geography. The second extends from near the long Los Angeles area in the Southern California across the middle of Nevada into southeastern Idaho and central Montana. The next path comes up through the middle of Texas. Wait, what? Oh. Into central Oklahoma, central Missouri, near the Iowa-Illinois border, and up across the middle of Wisconsin. The fourth path extends across southeastern Florida, the outer banks of North Carolina, southeastern New England, and far eastern Maine. Even if the rock doesn't strike these areas, debris could light up the sky and appear as shooting star or bolides. So, that's fascinating. The rocket and dummy payload is estimated to be roughly 20 tons. It's not yet known how much of the rocket or payload will make it to Earth's surface, if any at all. Center for Astrophysics astronomer Jonathan McDowell hypothesized on Twitter that a dry mass of four tons could make its way down, allowing for some bits to reach Earth's surface. This is not the first time an out-of-control rocket has threatened the United States. In May, the long March 5 main stage tumbled back to Earth in an uncontrolled manner. While much of the rocket stage burned up on re-entry, some parts did survive re-entry and impacted Earth. Because the rocket is covered by more water than land, there are better chances that an, any out-of-control rocket would strike the ocean rather than inhabited land areas. While odds favor that this out-of-control rocket will impact an uninhibited area, it is too soon to say whether or not this will be the case with the Russian rocket. Hey, thanks, weather boy. So, we've just got one more thing to watch in 2022. As the year kicks off, um, we kind of knew January's going to suck. Hopefully, things will get better by spring. So, this is just something to monitor. Hopefully, it'll just create a cool light show in the sky and no one will get hurt, or maybe it'll just go into the ocean. But who knows, man? Definitely, who knows? All right. This is me reporting to you. And if you'd like to be my miracle and save my ass at the beginning of January, uh, you can make a contribution or donation. Uh, really appreciate it. Only $1,461 left to go. Thank you to Henry, the Wizard of Oz, Alexis, and all of Asteroid Fight Club. You guys are awesome. I'll be talking to y'all in the near future because I got to raise like $80 to $100 before 5 p.m. tomorrow for rent and stuff. Sounds great. Uh, I do this monthly. And it's always kind of like a game show adventure for me. So everybody stay cool. God bless you. And I'll talk to you in the near future. Peace out. God bless everyone.